Okay guys, cooking up some uh, fried catfish. These are the walking catfish that I raised myself. These are fresh out of the tank. Uh, this is not going to be your typical fried catfish that most people know. This is going to be Thai style. No breading. But we've done a lot of them this way. It's delicious, it really is. Not taken away from uh, breaded catfish. The best catfish I ever ate in my life was in Louisiana. It was awesome. I think I ate it every day I was there. These are so fresh, they're still flopping. Okay, this one is just over just over a foot. Just over 12 inches, about 31 centimeters. Not the biggest one that I've had. I had one of a, probably a week ago. That was uh, 13 inches. This one's much smaller. See how fresh they are? Yeah, this one's only 11 inches, 28 centimeters. But this one is the first female that I've seen, or the first one to have eggs, that I've seen since the very first fish that I cooked. Remember the one that was so much bigger than all the rest? And when I uh, cooked it, it turned out to be a female. This is the first female I've seen since. And she's uh, not the biggest. But still a nice looking fish. But I thought the, the chance of breeding fish was done because I thought I had a tank full of dudes. But <laughs> it turns out there was at least two females in there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try and breed them or not. I don't know how you can tell the boys from the girls. If anybody knows, I, they look the same to me. Everything about them looks the same. For anyone who didn't see the eggs before, this is what cutfish eggs look like. They're green, huh? Eh? I cut the... This is about half. I cut it open with the knife. Green fish eggs. Lots of garlic. Actually, yeah, it's not very much garlic. <laughs> Should be more garlic. Oyster sauce. Anyone who's watched my cooking videos, you know we use a lot of oyster sauce. This is seasoning salt, which is mostly uh, garlic and white pepper. A few other things. And yes, they're cooked with the skin on. I had someone leave a comment before on one of my videos. You idiot. You don't know how to cook catfish, you gotta take the skin off. These are not channel cats. You cook these with the skin on. The skin is very thin, very delicate, no scales, no nothing. And it's uh it's good. If you want to take the skin off, go ahead. It's your call. Alright, this is uh gonna sit in the fridge until lunchtime. Uh probably a couple hours. We cook the heads on these, but I really don't know why, because there's not much in the head on a catfish. Not like tilapia or snakehead or most other fish. These got very little in their head, so. But we still cook it. Time to cook. Okay guys, there she is. A couple of fried catfish, walking catfish. Now, I had one, like I said before, it was 13 inches long. Just a little bit longer. But it was so much thicker, like it was bigger this way. Thicker this way. Made a lot of difference. 
eggs. Green fish eggs. Mmm. That's different. Quite nice, actually. Look at that meat, huh? Look at that nice. One thing that turns a lot of people off with these small fish is the bones. See all these little bones? But. There are the bones. Not a big deal, right? The bones come out quite easy. This is my favorite way to cook these fish. They're okay steamed, but this is good. Still haven't had any on the barbecue. Yeah, I just ate the bones, didn't even realize it. Not a big deal. That's really good, huh? Got some greens from the garden. Watch in here. It's, it's mostly uh, Malabar spinach. Got some uh, amaranth, Chinese morning glory, which is Kang Kong for most people. Thai spinach, Thai basil, moringa, whatever I could find. A couple of kale leaves. I tell you what, you know, this is not, not the best fish in the world, but it's the best fish I'm going to have today. It's really good. Really nice. Mmm. A little bit of tail. <laughs> Oh, the fish eggs. Like I said before, this is only the second fish I've found eggs in. The very first one, and the smallest of these two. I was hoping to be able to breed them, but I didn't know just what a tank full of dudes. Not gonna get no uh, babies like that. It's easier just to eat the bones, you know? If the fish was steamed, you can't do that, but with fried fish, little bones, crunchy. I tell you what. You know he's there, right? <laughs> I'll give him the, the head part, these two big pieces here. Get some rice. <laughs> it's my buddy. My buddy's never far away. Oh, Tom Turkey, little Tom Turkey. He came in the trap with the dog today. <laughs> it's crazy. The dog wasn't too impressed with it, but Tom's like, I'm not scared of you. I'm gonna go wherever I want.
Boy, I tell you what, man. You can't buy food this good. I can't buy food this good. That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm gonna finish eating my lunch and I'm feeding my buddy. Who's waiting very impatiently. I'm surprised the cat's not here. She can normally smell fish cooking and shows up. But I guess she's still busy with her afternoon nap. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Normally he stands in the tire. Turkeys like to walk in water. What are you doing, Tom? You drink a lot, huh? That's an airplane, dude. Oh, we have some friends. Monkey see, monkey do. There was nobody here. Tom, look what you did, Tom. Watch this, watch this, watch this. There's fish in there. Don't walk on a fish. <laughs>